guys and uh, welcome once again to Provdan Tutorials where we make the complex simple. Please kindly subscribe to my channel and thank you. Uh, our topic today is on differentiation by the general rule. Please kindly check our previous video where we learned how to differentiate from first principle. But today we'll be looking at how do we use the general rule to differentiate a given function? So first, we are going to start with this. Let's say we are given that y is a function of variable x. Then we are looking at what will be the result of differentiate with respect to x, y, which is referred to as the y dx or written as f prime of x. So by the general rule, if you have y equals a x power n, where y and x are variables, a and n are constants. Okay, so it's be any given number, okay, constant. So how do we differentiate this? By the general rule, our dy dx is going to give us the constant a, the power n, which is also a constant, will be leveled. Then you have the variable x decreasing the power. This is the general rule of differentiation. Okay. Let's look at an example. We are given this function y equals the whole of this. And we are looking for what will be the differentiation of our y with respect to x using the general rule. So we can start by having uh, first, let's have uh, y is equals to. 6, we can rewrite this as 1 over x squared, okay, then we have minus 1 over root of x power 7 plus 2. From here, we can have y to be equals to 6. Now, remember, or take note of this, let's have a side note. In mathematics, when you have an inverse function, for example, something like this, is the same thing as x raised to power negative a. Okay, so by indices, so that means this can give us x raised to power minus two. So we have minus. Also, remember in mathematics, when you have a uh, root of x, for example is the same thing as x raised to power 1 over 2. So if you have root of x power a, that means this is going to give you x raised to power a over 2. So if we apply that here, we can have 1 over, this is going to become x power 7 over 2 plus 2. And finally, our uh, y is 6 s raised to power minus 2 minus s raised to power minus 7 over 2 plus 2. What we are looking for is to differentiate y with respect to x. So that is going to give, applying your general rule now to the first term here, we have 6 is a constant. The power is minus 2, which is a constant drop. The power, remember, then you have x raised to the power minus 2, subtract 1. Minus, we have minus, the constant here is 1, so no need, we have 1. Drop the power, the power is minus 7 over 2. Then we write your function, we have x raised to the power minus 7 over 2, subtract 1 plus 2 is a constant. How do you differentiate a constant or what is the result? When you differentiate a constant, you get 0. How is that possible? For example, let's say y equals 
2. In this case, it is a constant, but with respect to x, we can write it as x power 0. Remember that anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So 2 times 1 is still 2. So now, if you differentiate this with respect to x using the general rule, we can have 2 as a constant. The power is 0. Drop the power. A right of function x subtracting 1. Without going further, you can see that anything multiplied by 0 is going to give you 0. So this is 0. And so finally, we can have a result of the y with respect to x is going to give us, we have 6 times minus 2, that is minus 12, x raised to the power minus 3. Then we have here negative times another negative here is going to give us positive. We have 7 over 2. And then we have uh, x raised to the power minus 7 over 2 minus 1 is going to give us minus 9 over 2. And finally, you can rewrite this, if you wish, as minus 2, minus 12, I mean, over x raised to power 3 plus this is 7 over 2 into your s raised to the power minus 9 over 2 which is a negative power I remember is the same thing as 1 over s raised to the power 9 over 2 okay and this can be minus 12 over x power 3 plus uh, 7 over this is 2, yeah, remember your x raised to the power 9 over, over 2 is going to be root of x power 9. And this is your final answer using the general rule. Alright guys, I wish you all the best and take care of yourself. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Bye bye.